Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Ramoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Lenny Jacob Sandoval, Peacemaker, now on HBO Max. He is one half of Evan and Amber. <laughs> who we are all falling in love with from the show. Welcome to the show, man. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm I'm really excited. I'm sorry I look like I just woke up. It's actually <laughs> 2 in the afternoon. It's like a weird overcasty day here in Los Angeles. So, but thanks for having me. Yeah, it's been um I actually saw some of Allison's interview that you did with her. And uh yeah, we're just riding the wave of the first week of Peacemaker dropping on HBO Max, the first 3 episodes, and we have Episode four comes out this Thursday Mm -hmm. and it's been, it's been just great. It's been, it's been, I, I was, when, when this job came about, like I got the audition, I saw James Gunn, uh, Peacemaker. Um, I I didn't really know what that was. I think Suicide Squad hadn't come out yet. Yeah. Right. It hadn't come out. So I immediately just wanted to work with James Gunn regardless. Uh, I love his style, obviously Guardians and some of his earlier stuff, super. So the idea of just getting a chance to work with him, and I know some of the people in that little world, like Steve Agee and some of them, and um, it, it, it just it just seemed like such a great opportunity, but it's actually far gone by that in shooting it and then the the reaction from the people. reception has just been incredible and it's one of those things like and that's my next my question we're gonna get into um peacemaker and everything we're gonna get into it but i kind of had like a general question for you about kind sure. of the geek culture nerd culture because i wanted to kind of pick your brain a little bit lenny when did you notice because like it's like geek culture comic book culture it's part of popular culture it's huge it's so oh, popular yeah. When did you notice that? Was that like, would you say that's been around for a decade where it's like cool to be a geek, cool to be a nerd? Like, I'm curious. I First of all, I don't consider myself necessarily a comic book geek or a yeah. nerd. I think I'm, I'm comic book nerd adjacent. Um, I was doing sketch comedy shows probably 10 years ago or a little more uh, with two of my buddies, Joe and Patrick. And they were immersed in that world. Really into uh, it, yeah. They would, you know, and then we started seeing some of the MCU movies together. We would do um, movie nights like we would go to the premieres with uh, a group of us. And I would always have to lean over and be like, all right, so just tell me exactly who this guy is, their backstory. And Patrick and Joe had it down. And I feel like in that 10 year range, it's evolved more, you know, and I think that's one of the things like the MCU and DC EU. Um, am I even allowed to talk about the MCU here? I guess so. Yeah, I was about to say, you know, you started with like, we're talking about Peacemaker DC. Sorry, (laughs) cut that out. But anyways, the, um, well, actually it goes back, you know, Dark Knight and, 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 and movies like that. But, um, I feel like directors like James and some of the other guys who really are invested in the comic book world and, and try to make things that represent the fans of these comic books where they're bringing out obscure characters or they really follow the the backstory and the history that has made it more mainstream yeah and um and i think it's just got it's just a great time for that whole community and it's become much more mainstream and obviously the biggest movies in the world made now our comic book and things like Cause that. Cause I used so. to wear, you know, Batman shirts and everything when I was younger. Right. And I was like made fun of because of it. Right. Oh, you're a geek. You're a nerd. I'm like Batman. Like, what are you talking about? And it's like, now yeah, that's always the case. Anyone who's made fun of when they're younger, usually they're, when they get older, they're, they're relishing the things they were made fun of for. It's true. But like, cause like now, like if you wear a Batman shirt, you're the coolest kid in the school, basically. Coolest kid in the school. <laughs> um, Evan and Amber, I mean, fan favorites right away. I mean, here's my question. I mean, it's one of those things I saw, like, a bunch of, you know, tweets. And it's funny. I interviewed Allison, but I interviewed Allison before it was out, right? Like, I saw it, but, like, it was kind of hard because, like, we couldn't really, like, spoil anything. You know what I mean? But now it's out, so we can talk more about it. (laughs) Um, 
it's cool, man. It's so cool. I'm so happy for both of you. But you have like this kind of time to shine, so to speak, right? We see Evan and Amber with Peacemaker in that scene. And it's just like, did it kind of feel like that? Did it kind of feel like this was your moment, so to speak? I tell you, auditioning the scene, it was the scene where he breaks in. Um, I actually auditioned it with my wife. She's a, uh, she's a director in Vancouver and an actress. It was in the middle of the pandemic. Uh, we did it together, like separately auditioned and then did one where both of us played the parts. So I was already really excited by the prospects of that scene because it was so crazy and it was with John Cena. And, you know, when, in, in the, when you think of the big movies, you know, side characters that come in, you're going to have like a moment where you can kind of shine. But I think with James, he really likes to lean into certain aspects of comedy or violence. And you see it a lot in Peacemaker where these longer scenes are happening with moments of um, like a, a quiet, awkward beat or a, a little back and forth uh, between Cena and, you know, when he's getting interrogated and the guy's torturing him. Yeah. Normally action movies will do that really fast, but James likes to kind of let things breathe and have organically funny stuff. So when we shot the scene, you know, it's the first day on set. It's the first time I meet Cena and Allison. Oh, we did the table read, but that, you know, um, and he's just like, everything is very specifically written, like his scripts are are phenomenal that was one of my favorite things about working with him he everything that you see on the screen he's written out whether it's the music cues what song will play wow. how the dancing will be uh how the fight will happen where things will fall <clears throat> he when we did the table reads he sent us uh the scripts and then a soundtrack which i think now is available on like uh spotify so spotify. good so good where he's like, they, it'll open and then this song will play in this scene. So you're, when you're reading it, I play the song. And that was just the most exciting thing for me. And it makes me look at his movies. I went back and watched Guardians. And I was like, every tiny thing is all coming out of his brain. Like he's picking this stuff before he shoots it. And that's, uh, to me, amazing. So anyways, back to the Evan and Amber. Yeah. You know, we came in and shot the scene as it was written. And then... Uh, he, he would yell stuff out like, you know, riff on this. And then Cena is just incredible with saying really fast, wordy uh, bits, completely straight faced. Um, it's re I mean, the guy is amazing. Like he can literally do everything. He looks like yeah. that. First of all, his arms are about as big as my entire torso. And then he's also really funny and super nice. And uh, so that scene kind of grew from the us coming in and the door and then everything to James really just let Alice and I amp it up. Like when we get to the point where we're yelling back and forth, he's like, okay, we'll do it now and I'll do it bigger. Uh, and he, he would throw in a few lines here and there. We get to improv a little bit, but most of it's written. And I think it's his ability to give the actors the space and the time. And, and th he said with television, he can do that more than with movies. So. Well, you're, you're being very humble right now. And a hundred percent James, like, you know, the mastermind around it, but I, I gotta say, man, I watched that. And so like, when you first see you, you're arguing about Cinderella and everything. Right. Yeah. But then he like ties you up. Right. And then the cops come in and he's not there. You had me howling when you were like, my wife's a dick like that. Like I'm telling you right yeah. now, I haven't <laughs> laughed. Like I, this Thanks, is kind of, it's an honor and I privilege to be it. speaking to you, man, because like that had me, I haven't laughed that hard at something. I would love <laughs> to see, um, it, it be kind of came this Evan and Amber when, the, when you lit the fuse, they just, you know, he let the camera running and obviously he can't use a lot of it, but, but there's definitely a lot of takes where we just, when we were tied up and we were just screaming at each other through the things <laughs> as he was trying to escape and they broke the door. Was that in the script though? Like my wife is a dick. Was that in the script? Um, <laughs> no, I don't think so. Not for that because okay. we were tied up and then they take the, 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 the cloth out of our yeah. mouth. I think we screamed a few different things or we yelled at each other. And it, oh. I think I said my wife's a dick and then Amber says, because uh, <laughs> you don't have one or something. And, oh, my uh, God. But it was the greatest thing was when we were shooting that scene, 
Um, there wasn't a lot of dialogue for John anyways. Yeah. Uh, he's just kind of watching us. And I felt like he really got into that moment where we were really running the, the scene long and he was able to just be like, wow, these two are fucking crazy. <laughs> um, and, the, you know, and then we finish in and everyone was very, very, it was a great set. It was a great atmosphere considering we were doing it during the pandemic where, you know, we had the mask on when we would rehearse and then right before the scene, everyone yeah. clear, we take it off and we put it back on. Um, we were still able to have a lot of fun and, uh, and, um, and, and come up with just a chaotic, uh, and I have to give a lot of credit to Allison. She yep. was fearless. I mean, she's fearless in that whole episode, but she, her ability to, uh, you know, when you, when you start that banter, it's difficult when you don't know someone yep. or you're just cussing someone out the first time you meet them. Um, she yeah. was just willing to go as far as we needed and really just went back and forth and was very quick with all her stuff. Yeah. And yeah, we just had a really good time. But the, the, dude, the risk, the reset, I mean, it must just be such a delight, right? Like you go, you explain, you gave really amazing backstory about like going in, doing it right with John and everything you do it. It's shot. It's in the can, right? You're wrapped. It's out For there. Month. Yeah. But like, this must like, isn't it like, Evan and Amber are like a fan favorite. People are losing their minds. Like it must really? feel great. I, I haven't seen, I, I haven't seen, you know, I'm, I'm on social media a bit here and there and, and the reaction for the entire show has been great. And I'm going to tell, no, there's buzz about you two for, I'm telling oh, you right great, now, great. I'm on social media. There's buzz. Yeah. We, I mean, honestly, when you shoot something, it's such a weird process because yeah. you audition for something, unless you're, you know, you get offered something and certain actors at a certain level, um, or even they audition it and then you do like a table read and then you have the scripts and things change and then you finally shoot it and then months go by sometimes you do adr where you have to you know add stuff which i didn't end up having to do any of that which is pretty crazy considering how much we yelled at each other yeah at all. So <laughs> kudos to our sound team um and then when it finally airs in this giant world and when everything is put in and the music and the way it's edited yeah i mean i i i I knew what we had shot was really funny and I was, I was hoping it would come out well, but it, it exceeded all my expectations. It's just so, and so it, far the show itself is, but just, it's a rare, it's a rare thing because it's like, it's a scene, right. In an episode, right. Basically that just had such an impact on people. Like that's a really cool thing. I mean, you've been doing this for quite some time. You mentioned your yeah. wife too directs it as well. You know, you have kind of some, scenes or some situations where you're you're a recurring and you have a lot of opportunities and you have one like big scene and yeah. it's it's like just the talk is pretty amazing like i oh, i'm right. telling you it's a cross between the opening dance number of the intro of the show was like the, obviously yeah. like the most talked about thing but then after that it was like evan and amber people were talking about that a lot like yeah yeah well you learn too when you when you do this for long enough i've been acting now about uh almost 20 years, maybe yeah. you shoot a lot of things and something, and when they come out, they look exactly like you thought, or there's more, or there's mm -hmm. most of the time there's less because things get edited out and yep. whole chunks and dialogue. So I was really happy with the stuff that was kept in. Um, and yeah, it's just been, it's been an amazing experience and also just a great group of like, James is one of the really great, creators in this industry who also interacts with the fans really well i've noticed this in the last yep. year of him and i being on twitter like we follow each other since it was announced a lot of people he say that in interviews he's great with the fans yeah yeah he just answers a lot of questions on social media um about everything in the in his universe and the smallest little things and i think different people like whether you're a writer or you want to be an actor or you're a fan you can get a lot about how behind the scenes he lets you in. So, uh, and and it's the same with everyone in the cast. They've just been, you know, we did a couple of live tweets. We did two nights in a row of live tweets for the, um, for the first and second and third episode. And it's just really fun to see people interact with yeah. uh, those that are making it and fans getting an option, an, an opportunity to get a little behind the scene things. And, and especially in the comic world, because they have so many questions 
about canon and, and the questions, you know, but, but also do you see some of the, like the peacemaker merch that's out there? Like I want all of it. Like there's yeah. all this like pe- like peacemaker merchandise out there. Shirts. There's a lot of the costume out there. Yeah. I've seen people doing it and they have the full, and it's an amazing costume because the funny going bit is that John keeps wearing that costume everywhere when he did press Yeah, before it came out. And now, um, and that day we shot it, I was really paying attention, you know, like these thick, they look like gloves you'd use to wash dishes, but they're very thick, and just it, it, his body is so compacted into this. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a, it's been a really great thing to be a part of, as yeah. far as that, like a comic book superhero violent world. And then yeah, the dance number has been huge. Yeah, and that's great too because you know when we got the opening script, <clears throat> um, it was written in that first scene and then cut to and James had written out. Uh, Peacemaker does a dance. It's a very serious dance. It's a goofy dance with a serious face. And then someone comes in and someone comes in and someone comes in. And then to see it come to life. And actually, Allison and I were supposed to be in it. Ah. I saw someone ask about that. They were like, uh, why didn't you? Because every random character. And we had, I learned the choreography. Um, Carissa um, um, taught me. I went to the studio to do the choreography. Then I took it home and showed my wife it. And I was like, oh, my God, we got to do this intro. And they kept changing the date we were supposed to shoot it. And and scheduling-wise, we couldn't be there on that day. Mm-hmm. So we lost out on doing that. But it, it came out – that came out even better. Like, even the visual of that was better than I, I would have ever expected. It's, it's so great. Everything's so great. I'm so happy for you in the cast. Lenny, I wanted to thank you so much for coming on Pop Turn and chatting, man. This was awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, so first three episodes of Peacemaker are out now, and then now there's going to be week after week, you know, a new episode is going to come out. Um, and uh, where can people follow you on social media to keep up date with everything? Uh, Twitter. Everything on social media is Lenny Jacobson. Amazing. L-E-N-N-Y Jacobson. There is, there, I'm not the real or the first, or I, I, I think I'm the only person with that name in that atmosphere, which has been, uh, which has been good. I haven't had to finagle a, a web a finagle a name on anyone but add lenny jacobson on instagram and um and twitter perfect well this has been pop turnip youtube.com slash pop turnip for previous episodes pop turnip.com has other content as well until next time this is lenny jacobson who plays evan in peacemaker on hbo max and pd beats pd beats that's a great name by the way <laughs> thank you thank you for tuning in to pop turnip Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.